Consistency is key. We've got another episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we only did the last one this morning, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just changed the outfit. <laughs> Uh, feel like a stripper. We just changed from one black outfit to another. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, black. <laughs> black. How are we? Broken, mate. <laughs> fucking, fucking honestly, yeah. when? Since, since yesterday, since we did the last one, I'm fucking broken. <laughs> what, what's up now, not? Oh, I mean, this elbow, and I've been. I feel like an agony. I'm... I know, yeah. But got to tell someone, I know. <laughs> Putting BP157, TB500, everything. And then, you know, you start to get fixed. Things start to get like you're ninety five percent there, mm. and then you go and test the water oh, like a dickhead, yeah. and then you're just back to fucking square one. Do you rate the TB? I do, mate. It was working great. Yeah. But then just getting too brave and then just going, do you know what? I'm gonna fucking lift some heavy weight today when you're just not ready. For, for people it. who don't know on the podcast, TB five hundred and one is it BP one five seven? BP five seven. Yeah. Is like the Wolverine stack of peptides, That's what they call and it's it, yeah. actually. I've used it myself on different injuries and fucking clients have used loads it on different injuries and it works, doesn't it? It 100% yeah, works. Yeah, it is a very, very good um, tool. But it works so good that you run into the issue that I've just done. You think you're okay. You think you're fixed. And you're not. And then you go and test it. You need to like give it time still. You still got to yeah, yeah. wait. Yeah, you, you definitely just jump back in at the deep end, don't yeah, you? Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I feel brand new. And then yeah, that's but the you, thing. What I didn't realise was um, the BP157, like the... The, the benefits it has outside of just fixing mm. joints and, and pain yeah. and whatnot. Penis like, enlargement. Penis enlargement, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> inside the dick. For whatever reason, <laughs> yeah. it, it worked in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I think that's as well when people come out of the back end of shows, I always say that, I know you're fucking giddy, yeah. you're motivated, you're full of food, but your body's not ready to train yeah. that hard. Yeah, I think it, back in the day when they used to do like the, um, the photo shoots where they you know, no fake weight bullshit. It was, you're going to squat six plates aside now, day after your show. Yeah, sound. I've seen, I've seen people do it. Yeah, I've imagine. seen people like actually, you're thinking, please don't do that. You're just going to rip your leg off. Yeah. You're dehydrated to fuck. But, but you do feel, you feel strong as fuck, don't you? Mm. And you, like mentally, you're like, I can't wait to just get back just in the gym. Because you want that feeling that you've not had for, for yeah. months. Well, that's the thing at the back end of a prep, what people don't realise is you look the best. But your training's the shittest you've it's ever the been. It's worst. And you, you don't even like going to the gym. No, no. you just got. And then the hardest bit is taking your clothes. Be like, let's have a look at you. Think. Oh, I've got taking my clothes off. Because then I've got to put them back on. Yeah. Or I'll just times, go home. Maybe. Few times it's all right. Yeah. After that, it's like. Yeah. yeah, and then you're leaving your Converse on for the sunbed. Just yeah. me then. <laughs> 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 but you're like, I don't even want to take my Converse. So I cannot yeah, be yeah. asked. It's just, as well, like I think once you've been doing it for so long. And you've done it that many times where it kind of loses its buzz, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When people are saying, oh, let's have a look. And you think, fuck me, I've been, I've been, I've been showing people my biceps for the last 15 years. Yeah, they just, it's not the same, is it? <laughs> no. It gets to like life in slides, doesn't it? That's yeah. what I do towards the end of the prep. Just live in slides. That's yeah, it. just live in sliders so you yeah, can't go with... Same in off season. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, okay, right. Crocs. I've got trainers on today. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I must want a shag. Let's yeah. <laughs> so trying to pull. The, the fake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cheap, cheap shit, yeah. but it's all right. Happy days. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, uh, so yeah, your elbow's fucked now. So we've gone yeah. from back to elbow. to elbow. Yeah, yeah, no, there's one more though. That's not the end of it. Huh? <laughs> that's not the end of it. I've done three, done it, so. Today, for the fucking first time I'm trying it, because you're a guinea pig, aren't you? You know what I mean, in bodybuilding, you've mm. got to try stuff. It's trial and error. Like we say, everyone's different. Um, I've pushed food to the max like for fucking years. Now I'm like what they call a hard gainer, yeah? So I have to put way more fucking food in than what you think you need to. Just What's to your do. highest your food's ever been? Mate, I've done over 8,000. Um, what, consistently? In, consistently. But that's including, like, every day I was having a cheat. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And the yeah, cheat yeah. can do one and a half to 2,000 easy, can't it? How did you find that? Terrible, mate. Put myself in hospital. Literally. Yeah, honestly, mate. I had to have cameras both ends. One of them I kind of enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I can't remember what I fucked, but there's a valve there and there's a valve there or whatever. Both of them are fucked, so I'm on that amoprazole. I'll have to take it for life. If I don't take that amoprazole, after one day I've got heartburn. And that's just from being stupid, you know, doing the shit, stupid things of, I don't know if anyone's seen all them reels that I put on, on Instagram saying, for the love of bodybuilding, but doing the daft shit where you'd eat the meal, you'd throw up, and you'd be like, I've got to fucking cook it again, yeah. eat it again, yeah. Mm. Well, I was oh, off the floor. Off the floor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Scoop it back up. Um, but yeah, they, I'm trying to listen to my body more now. So like, today, I know the difference between forcing food when it's, it's just hard because you're eating a lot of food, or forcing it when your body's just like, no, I'm not having it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So then you try all the bits that you're supposed to do. The fa at the minute I'm doing fasted cardio and a swim and a sauna. 
I'm doing digestive enzymes, I'm doing probiotics, I utilise GDAs, I'll have a morning set-up powder. So everything's there to, to aid digestion and my stomach's still going, no, no, you need to have a break. Mm. So today I'm just literally just not eating a single thing. Well, that's the thing as well. We, we had this discussion before about, I think it was John Meadows, um, he used to make people do like a 24 hour fast once a month. Yeah. Because yeah, in yeah. reality, you'll only lose glycogen fullness and a bit of water. You're not going to lose fucking muscle. Yeah. But the actual ability to then eat for more and more weeks and push food and actually repair the gut. Because that's, that, as you say, that's the limit. Everything. Factor. The gut's everything. Yeah, it's, that's why you need to remove your emotion from the scale weight because everyone's emotionally attached to scale weight. I think it's the only metric we have to gauge weight like progress in the off season. Pretty much, yeah. Mm. An easy one. You've got body measurements, but no one can stand there every day and go like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. yeah it doesn't just. It just doesn't work. Does stepping it? on the scale is probably the only easiest format of going, I'm not getting weight. When in reality, it's not really a massive factor, is it? Yeah, and then, but then you. You, you can look so many different. 100%. Yeah, yeah. you can look so different at, at the same weight. Same do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. it's no, removing yeah. that emotional attachment and then just being able to push forward. So I know now that I'm going to be down on the scales. I'm not even going to look at them. It makes no odds. No. But what I do also know that is for the next week, I'm going to be able to nail every meal with no issues. Yeah. I'm going to have more energy. I'm going to sleep better. I'm going to train better. So, like, what's the trade off? Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Why, why would I want to struggle to get all my food in, not train well, sleep like shit? when I can just have one day off eating completely. I mean, I've not done it yet, fully. Yeah. I'm halfway through it, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm all right, on floor. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm a set, I have the theory as well is, if we're trying to put an inch on our arms, but we put two inch on our waist doing so, so Jeez. the actual ratio's yeah. fucked. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, you, you, yeah, you've had, you've got your arms up to 20 inch, but if your waist is now 36 inch, you're fucked because you're pushing <coughs> corpus amounts of food to literally, like we said last time, push, and force the actual muscle on. I think people underestimate as well just how small of a change in, say, the cap on your shoulder or, or the inch on your waist, how small of a physical change has a huge impact on the visual. Yeah, 100%. It's huge, yeah. it's massive. Well, what did you compete at last time? Originally. What, 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 this this time round, one hundred and sixty nine pound. One hundred sixty nine. One hundred sixty nine pound. Wow. But you look at that and you be like, oh, I think it's about fifteen stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. can't. Yeah. No, you met people who said to me like, I think what was I then? You know, six nine. And there's so many people like you look like two hundred. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Because it doesn't it doesn't matter. No, no, it doesn't. In a sense of like actual weight, it's like how it looks on stage. If you're a bodybuilder. An illusion, yeah. It's an illusion, yeah. and that's where people I think are missing the point of like, I'm three hundred pound. Well done. Yeah, and you, yeah. you, see, you see it as well, like um, there's a few guys that I've seen come down from super heavy, starve themselves to get into heavyweight this year or last year, and it was a detriment to the look. Mm. They're thinking, oh, if I can, if I can be the biggest heavy and want to look the best, that's wrong. Mm. They may as well just look the best, whatever the weight's going to be, yeah. and be an incredible super. You've got to win either way. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, to, but then I think that's the same with the classic guys. Yeah. You'll see a lot of guys who are not actually classic trying to push under the weight cap, and it's like you've made the weight, doesn't mean you're classic. Yeah, you, you yeah. haven't got that illusion, you've lost everything that's good about your physique because you've tried to make that weight. So now the whole illusion's lost because the fullness is lost 3D, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the muscle belly is like I always say that you're either classic or you're not. Simple yeah, yeah, you are what you are, really. Yeah. You just refine a lot. Yeah, um, I think what, what happens is a lot of people can make the weight in classic. And then probably try and nip a pro card, but then never do anything in fucking. Yeah. And th that's the career done then, realistically. And some people are happy with that to say, oh, I've got a pro card, well done. But then they'll never do anything as a yeah. pro. Um, so yeah, I think that definitely pulling back, like that's one thing I would have learned when I was younger was like, even with down to compounding meals on top, where I used to put two meals together. Yeah, or I'll be, I'll be like, fuck it, I'm gonna have a massive cheat meal which then would just fucking ruin me for days on end to try and get my meals in for the, the yeah, days after. I always struggled. After a big cheat meal, I always struggled the day after. Mm. Just feel full all day. You just don't want to eat. Yeah. And then look at different food sources. And like, oh, that's going to be easy to digest. But you then just, you're not, on, not off plan, but you're just not eating what you normally eat for the sake of one meal. It's yeah. Kind of, yeah, it's just... Because it's you're like going, you know what, that meal were, say, 500, 600 calories. That yeah. meal were 500, 600 calories. Oh, fuck it, I'll just have a pizza. Which yeah. in reality, fucks you. It doesn't work, yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. work it just it? compounds and makes it worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, in that respect now, that's where you're probably better off just going, do you know what? Don't eat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just wait. 100%. Don't yeah. play catch up. Yeah. Don't need to. Yeah, or have, have a protein shake. 
cover yeah. your cover that your muscle yeah. protein synthesis is raised. Yeah. You're not gonna lose any fucking muscle. Yeah. Yes, you might be lighter in the morning, but it doesn't mean you've lost muscle. Like no. it's very hard when you're on anabolics to lose muscle. Hundred percent. There's been times where well, you'll have done it like zero carbs, three hours yeah. cardio, and you still stay fucking with a decent amount of muscle. Obviously, yeah. if you do it for long enough, but you're gonna lose it. But the, if I've been missing one meal in the off season again. It's what we said last time is. It's so urgent to put on weight. It's human nature as well, because you've been seeing strongman. Like, it was like relative to like, if you can eat more, the more you can eat, the stronger you'll be. And that's what people done for years and years and years. And then Stan Efferding took over and he, he got older, Brian Shaw and Thor and over, I don't know if he did one of the Stoltmans or whatever. No, I'm not sure he did. Anyway, regardless, he pulled the calories down, got them eating better food and the performance went up and they got stronger. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a direct correlation, do you know what I mean? It's performance is key, so you need to do whatever is best. I think, I hate the word optimal, but I think it's a balance in between all of them, of being able to perform in the gym, eating a decent amount of calories, and then also, like you say, feeling good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because if you, anything to extremes, we had this conversation the other day. Yeah, no, so no, I no. started a new protocol, as always, as we said, I'm a guinea pig, I was like, right, this protocol on paper sounds amazing. Yep. And I'll, I'll openly speak about it, it was, uh, an IU a GH per meal, two IUs of Nova Rapid per meal, and every meal three hours apart. High carbohydrates, low fats, uh, medium protein. And I thought, right, that in theory, has to work. It, it's got to work. Yeah. It has to work because you've got the like the like switching off the lipolysis for the the GH is going to obviously turn off the axis. The insulin is going to drive the carbohydrates. If you've got no fat in the bloodstream, then you're not going to gain body fat. But in application. It was fucked because I couldn't <laughs> sustain it. Yeah, it's not sustainable. Yeah. It's not oh. sustainable and I couldn't keep it up and, and as diligent as I was being, life just got in the way and every meal had to be three hours apart and if I was actually, oh shit, I'm too close to bed, I can't have the insulin. And again, on the in theory, it was perfect. But yeah. I said to you, Dan, I said, I'm going to try it. I lasted four days yeah. Yeah. because I couldn't keep and maintain that up. And that's where a lot of people, anything done too extreme isn't going to be sustainable. Yeah. And as you said in your reel before, consistency over time yeah. is the winning factor. Yeah. Rather than being... You and can't just redline it. You can't, you can't just redline it. You can't, because the thing as well is what I said to Tom was in, in training yesterday, I said, the fact that I've fucked around for two months is the reason I'm trying to redline it because I'm trying to play catch up. Yeah. So if you, just, if, if you were just consistent yeah. and diligent over them two months and not doing too, and just hitting your numbers and doing what you're meant to do, you wouldn't be a panic of, fuck, I've got four months off-season. This is what I try and tell people. It's the same thing with like, oh, yeah, I missed a cardio session, so doubled up the next day. No, don't. Don't try and play catch-up because you missed that cardio session the next day because all you're doing is telling yourself that that's okay to do so. Yeah. So the week after, I don't feel like, feel like doing cardio on Friday. I'll do two on Saturday. And then that combines. I didn't do it Thursday and Friday, but I'll just do two Saturday, two, two Sunday. Sunday yeah, and you yeah. end up completely fucking it up. Yeah. yeah, exactly the same thing as well with... Um, with prep, they'll go, ah, yeah, but I could, I could have a bit of that. It's the same thing with like sticking to macros or actually eating a, a set plan. Yeah. And what I find is when people get further into a, into a prep phase, it's better to give them a set plan because there's no guesswork and there's no human, why do we all have coaches when we coach so many people? Yeah. Because we make emotional decisions. Yes. So you're gonna give yourself the easiest sort of route yeah. or on the other side of the spectrum is like what I- Or the hardest. And then when yeah. I struggle to coach myself, it's because I think, I can eat nothing. Yeah. I'll eat mm -hmm. dust. I'll eat yeah. dust, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll eat dust like and I'll just do more. Dust, yeah. Yeah. Dust. <laughs> um, weight Watchers, love it. Um, honestly, top, top, top <laughs> Weight Watchers. Red day, green day. Um, but yeah, so I do the worst and they'd be detrimental to my physique. So that's where I think taking that emotion out definitely helps. And you need it, you need that. Yeah. I was there, I mean, like, I've to told you plenty of times, where, you know, I was doing cardio in the morning and I was working as an, did I tell you you should be an engineer? No, I was an engineer. About it. And then, uh, Back in my then, day. <laughs> then I train and I do cardio again. And some people might need that, fine, but, but I didn't. And I was eight weeks out from a show and I remember looking in the mirror and thinking, I look like a 14 year old girl. Mm. Yeah, I've worked too all much, my muscles just on. Way yeah. too much. And then I should have took the dress off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would have probably helped with it. <laughs> yeah, the heels was the, the, the bit. dress. And then from yeah. there, I put 20 pounds. you pigtails, you? <laughs> <laughs> then I put 20 pounds on. Right. Eight weeks out, put twenty pound on muscle, pure muscle, pure muscle, <laughs> pure Just, absolute solid muscle, yeah. and then one. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So that's the difference yeah. in it. Yeah, that's that's definitely the difference with, and I, and I've had it with clients now. It's the first time round, and I said to him, "Stop looking at yourself at different times of the day, yeah. panicking." Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. As cliche as it is, trust the fucking process. I've had people say, 
Should I send me checking pictures after the gym because I look better when I'm pumped? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, no, no, just get up the fresh in the morning. Yeah. So, yeah. do you know, if you take these raw pictures in the morning, it's fucking raw, it is what it is, right? Delete them for all I care, then yeah. you don't need to look at them. Mm. You take pictures of yourself pumped up in the gym if you're feeling good, great, great for your confidence. But you need that baseline of, yes. I've just got up, I'm cold. I'm there's no there's no variables. Yeah, yeah. Same lighting, yeah. same thing. That, that moves on to like the importance of a check-in. Um, I was having this conversation the other day where a check-in is no longer just pictures and weight. No. It's like, what the fuck are you, like if you're just sending pictures and weight, like that yeah. tells me fucking nothing. It doesn't tell me your mood, it doesn't tell me how you're feeling, it doesn't tell me your hunger, it doesn't tell me your output, it doesn't tell me your fatigue. Like all these things need to be taken into consideration to do an update. Yeah. Because you can't just, it could be, his life could be going to absolute fucking shit. Yeah. Literally, I think, you know, if someone's trying to, you know, they're on a journey of losing weight or whatever, and then everything looks perfect, then you're like, right, well, look, what happened last night? What did you get up to last night? Oh, I slept on the couch, had a barney with my missus. There you go then. That's yeah. why you've not lost weight. Yeah, stress. Yeah. You're stressed, yeah. you've had a shit sleep. That's mm -hmm. all you need to know. Yeah. Like, and that's, if you don't collect that sort of level of information from somebody, you can't make an informed decision. Because I, I say this all the time, it's like, coaching is a lot more than just us being like, drop food out, drop yeah, food 100%. out. It's me being able to relate to the guy who's just, I'll, I'll say his fucking name, Brandon, who's just starting out. He, he's done, he's been to the uh, team meetups. It's his first show. I've been through the whole process with myself yeah. and so many other people. So I know, I said to him, at this point, you're gonna feel like this. And at this point, this is normal. Don't worry about it. But if I didn't collect that information from him and ask him how he was and how he was feeling yeah. and where his head was at, I couldn't then build that rapport and, and fix the problem. If it was as simple as figures, like you just said before, well then, AI would do it for you. Yeah, yeah. Can wish you would. Get fine. <laughs> no, taking our fucking yeah. jobs. I think with the feedback, the feedback's the first thing I look at. I ignore everything, and then you find out right. How's everything? Digestion's fine. This, this, this. Right. Okay. Now let's go into your checking. Because if one of them's out, it's we normally need to loop. address that. Yeah, it's before. normally loop back to. Yeah, we need to address that, and that's going to be more than likely a reason that something above it's out, like mm. your weight, something, 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 your pictures, something, something, something. If one, if something in this bubble, digestion, work, stress, everything's out. Then we, yeah, that's the first tips. I, I had it with with one guy, and for about five weeks, he's he's making no progress, and he's like, I just can't seem to lose this weight. I can't seem to lose this weight. And I said, look, every single week, I keep telling you, you keep checking in, and your stress levels through the roof, and your sleep terrible. Just those two things are the answer. Yeah. And he he went to the doctors and got a blood work done or whatever, and his cortisol was through the roof. Yeah. And he's stressed out through work, and his sleep patterns foot. As soon as he fucking sorted that out, as soon as he got a good good kit, yeah. boom, the weight dropped off. That's how important it is. Yeah, it's yeah. huge, isn't it? and that's no, why we that, again, that's why we look at like everything yes. to be like, okay, your sleep's out. What can we do about it? Yeah. How can we put these things in place to make sure that you're you've got the knowledge and the actual tools to be able to get to like because some uh, it's common sense to most people, but even myself, we sometimes forget just little things like. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Yeah, is. A lot of people, you'd be surprised yeah. the amount of people that when they've got shit sleep, they don't they don't think, right, I'm gonna address sleep. What they do is they go, I just drink more coffee. Yeah, caffeine's in there. Oh, yeah. Coffee's not touching feel, the side. Feel attacked, <laughs> yeah. so fucking hell, coffee's right. not touching the side now, so what I'll do is I'll still drink my ten coffees, but Take I'll cocaine. have two, two monsters Take as well. well. Bit of cocaine, throw yeah. that in on top of it, yeah. It's expensive to not sleep. <laughs> and then you can't sleep, and then so you then can't you sleep again. Yeah. 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 It's a vicious circle, isn't it? Okay. So then you start once you've had your cocaine, you smoke a few joints, you drop a couple of dazzy bars, and then you just repeat the cycle and everyone's happy. Yeah, and then practically the fucking roided up Bob Marley. That's it. Yeah, hookers are the worst. Prostitutes, <laughs> they'll get you every time, the bastards. <laughs> it's a vicious circle. <laughs> you can't sleep. May as well just ring. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's the best thing we, we can do as coaches, I think, is is making yeah. sure that we don't know everything. Maybe a little bit. But, yeah. um, 95%. <laughs> 95 percent of it. But yeah, it's uh, from our standpoint, it's again cut. Like oh, shoulders ain't way. Oh, he's so airy. <laughs> like me, you airy. You're not shaved for this. No, fuck that, mate. <laughs> Get your vagina <laughs> out. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> so, what Body hair. What? What's, what's the crack? Why are you not shaved? Can't be asked. Yeah. I can tell you're married. Yeah, yeah. married, innit, yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> mate, listen. All the gay guys love it. Fucking <laughs> DMs flooded. Uh, yeah. Catherine will tell you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, the DMs are going wild for mm. fucking body hair. They and do. Like, gays do love God, it, don't they? Me, don't know it? that. I've not had much experience yeah. with gays, but I've got an airy chest. People, anyway. people offering me money to wax me, but I'm like, 
no one like anyone would have to pay me to watch that's me. your missus on me. a different <laughs> account yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please kieran just fucking let me watch you but do you know what mate it was like i thought about it and i was like not that never thought about <laughs> it. I, was like, I was like um i fucking shaved my full body every every week if not bi-weekly for about fucking 10 years yeah I just want a break. Just want a break. <laughs> I just want a break. Oh, God. Just straight. Like, like, that's third world problems, isn't it? Like, yeah, fucking, yeah. you know you've not shame. got any issues when it's shaving's your biggest <laughs> yeah. issue. You're like, oh, I just need a break. Just getting a bath of heat. Fucking yeah, just sitting in a bath of heat. that, mate. Uh, you're going to put it on your bollocks? Yeah. <sighs> Terrible idea. Bro, like, Don't go above six minutes. Let's see. Six minutes. <laughs> like, I'm just <laughs> holding on, like, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can do it. I can do ten. Bang on six. Oh. It doesn't, doesn't get all my hair off, though, V. So the skin will be burnt to fuck yeah. and there'll still be some hair left. Oh. Have you seen I've Awful. seen these um videos on Instagram at the minute. People are getting them dog grooming kits. They must use V or something first. And it's like a bit of a hoover and then they're just in fact Matt Softon's just done it, I've just seen him do it. No, oh, fuck off, I'm gonna have to watch that. <laughs> you gotta have to watch Is it. Is it what I'll just, just like they must put V on first because then they use like some sort of dog grooming a... hoover and they just like suck all the hair how off. Someone thought, how someone found that out? <laughs> Fuck no, it's fucking mad. Clever. But even for competing, just to relate it back to some sort of bodybuilding, yeah, yeah. Yeah. when do you shave before a show? Uh, so yeah. obviously I'm shaving like weekly anyway, but yeah. I, I reckon I was... it's probably like three days before. I do, about three days. Yeah. I'm sure I did like, I think I was, oh no, you got the tan the night before. It was the night before the tan night i don't i've never i've waxed once and it's fucking horrendous no, a fair few times yeah it's but it's not it's not even the pain it's just the the info like the skin the aftermath yeah, yeah, the yeah, skin, yeah. The aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> people die man it's the aftermath <laughs> what the fuck happened to you fuck for days that wasn't waxing Hot cold sweat and everything <laughs> ptsd from waxing um i feel like i'm a fucking hey guys <laughs> i feel like i'm a casting couch here fucking paint me like with your french girls <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah that's i get that question a lot actually is like are you gay no <laughs> um when do you um when do you shave that well before? you need to you need to start shaving weeks before yeah you need to prep your skin, skin for it, yeah. prep your skin as well a better anyway Put him. You look better anyway. Yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. well better. Yeah, you look checking you're like, pictures and stuff. We've got I've got a vein. It's yeah, getting kind of serious. <laughs> yeah, so that's one of don't know how we got onto that topic, but we did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Gaze. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about gaze. Yeah, there's awkward silence. <laughs> you can't offend people. What? You can't offend people. What right. It, how is it offending people if it that like that's not? If I say like we LG the whole thing about it. What? We send the whole thing about it. What? The whole conversation. Of what? The rest of the podcast. No, we can just no. no. I'd struggle with shit that I say me. So you start talking about something like that, something's no. gonna come out. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just offend yeah. people. Yeah, That's just keep people. No, it wasn't about offending people. It wasn't about like I might say that suck someone's dick. It's one time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Gotta do what you gotta do, ain't you? Yeah. Okay, right. No, there's I've had a few few in like blowjobs. So. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Anyway, how are you, Tom? Anyway, I'm very good. I'm still sore. We can't go We can't go in with that. We need to get away what, from this. What a bad topic. Uh, yeah, no. my legs are a mess, mate. From that, when from do we train? Saturday. Saturday. What day is it now? Today, Tuesday. Fucking don't know. Fucking days. hell. Still sore. Man, the day, honestly, the day after. No. Was that two plate of sides? That's what it was. <laughs> well, yeah, just, yeah, a mess. We've changed your training now, though, to every other day. Every other day, now. How you find that? Better. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think... Mainly for as well, like how busy we've been. Mm. So it just days that Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday, I have no session. It's like client work, client work, client work. Yeah, do you know what? I think as well, like um, it's massive. When you get into off season, you think, oh, because I'm eating more food and instead of the like recovery is going to be better. But yeah. you get to a point where it ends up being worse. Yeah, it does. Yeah, just because you like your output so much yeah. in the gym. You put you're lifting weights you've never lifted before. Yeah. The stresses are never been done before. I think as well yeah. from like an inflammation standpoint. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, everything is inflamed. So you're like, you're pushing every sort of pathway and every sort of element that could be pushed, you're pushing yeah, it. Yeah. And then, like you say, you become, bi because you can do more work, yeah. you become busier with work. Yeah. And then I think without having the added like structure of prep, you're like, fucking hell, like, I get up at, say, say for example, you get up and prep at five, yeah. you might get up at eight, but you've lost three hours lost there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So oh, then yeah. it is it is difficult, but I found the day on, day off, for what the reason that I do it is because then I can be more efficient within them sessions. Yes. A lot of people get this whole, whole idea of like, oh, I've got to train every day. And I think in reality, if you're training six days a week, 
You, you can't like the, the session we've just done then on Saturday. You, you can't do that. You can't every do day. that every session. No. You couldn't string together five sessions, even if it was separate body parts. No, you can't. Five days. That there's no chance. So no. that's when when I've done the higher volume like Milos approach, it was like four sets of twenty reps, but. The 20 reps is like just pumping. You're it. just pumping. Yeah. So it's like it's not actually taxing on your central nervous system at all. Yeah. You're never really going anywhere near to failure and you're just pumping and it feels good. So then it's like, yeah, it's you hard. Can string sessions together you can do idea. six you could do tw- double like I think it was twice a day I was training. Yeah. Two two times a day, six days a week. Because nothing was taken to that level. Yeah. And from me anecdotally, what I thought was like, well, actually there's no real novel stimulus. It's a shit ton of insulin shit ton of carbs Muffins, you feel cookies. yeah everything yeah you feel so pumped you feel bloomed up yeah. but are you actually building any true dense muscle i don't i don't know does anyone truly know i think the the thing that they do is be like but look at samson yeah exactly but then Sam, look at his genetics but, but that's what like, I'm saying. samson yeah. could probably do what he fucking wanted yeah, to could, yeah yeah he could do anything so i just don't feel i don't know i just don't feel like for me Theoretically, like you feel good in the off season, you might be the heaviest and biggest you've ever been. But when you come to diet down, and you it's take, all just gonna come off. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. that fullness and that is all gonna come off if you've yeah. not got the genetics of Samson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think the day on day off for me works better. And again, for work, it does help with work. <laughs> What's yeah, mad is though, like it, like it does. It helps massively with work. And when I'm doing the day on day off, it's fucking great. And off. How do you? What are you doing? Uh, two on one off at the minute. Okay. Um, but. I clearly can't handle it because my elbows fucked, my back's yeah. fucked. But in it mad, right? You're having them days off now and you're, you're smashing through a lot of work. When you're prepping, when you're not close to the show, like when things are just running right, you'll train and get more workload done all in one day. Yeah. Yes. One hundred percent. How the fuck? It's exactly the same hours, yeah, yeah. but your brain just switch completely different. I think yeah. You. It's like you said when you're fasting now. Your cognuity is so much higher, you're so much so sharper. Productive. It's like you think about the amount of insulin that you're gonna release and how like you, the only way I can describe it to people listening is when you've had your Christmas dinner, we practically eat a Christmas dinner six times a day. Yeah. Yeah, the amount yeah. of food That's that we like eat. A tired you feel, so yeah. that you feel that tired and that like I, I call it like brain fog. Yeah. I'm yeah. like I'm waking up like, I don't know who I am, where I am, who she is. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but like that's what you, you wake up like brain fog and thinking, I don't know I'm gonna function today. That's what when people go I, I, I put a story on the other day about this and someone mentioned it on the weekend, that bloke, you know, when we was um what the fuck was we doing that weekend? Swingers. Swingers no. club. <laughs> no, yeah. uh, goal cutting. No, cocky trail. Oh, cocky trail. Yeah. Um, so wouldn't it be nice to, to be able to eat like them Stoltman brothers? Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? And people say, it'd be so nice to eat all that food that you eat. I'm like, fucking try it no. then. Nothing's stopping you from trying it. The reason you're not doing it is because it clearly isn't nice. It's yeah. fucking expensive <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's fucking yeah, expensive. It yeah. And it's fucking tragic. <laughs> yeah, like I was doing a five guys a day. Yeah. So what's that? Probably like 20 quid it's a day? 15, 20, well, this is what yeah. I'm saying that going back to the Stoltmans, I don't know whatever prep they was in, but obviously they eat more to go into a competition. Mm. Yeah. Um, and there was in America, they had the morning meal and the evening meal because they're doing six meals. The four meals in between were five guys, four or five guys meals and two of them <sighs> Every had day? Sh- every day. Nah. Two of them had a shake, two strawberry milkshakes and two of them were just meals with no shake. See, that's the thing as well. Like even when you're eating just that level, like that level of food and that amount, Nothing tastes good. Nothing, That's nothing. Shit. It doesn't matter if it's a Five Guys, whether whatever. It's your favorite food. Your body is just like no. I feel like pushing food is harder than dieting. Hundred percent. Like, like, yeah. Agree. You know, yeah. yeah. So, so when you when you put like a poll on Instagram or whatever, you get the some people that that say they think off season's easier, but. That's because the, these are the types of people that only have to do three, four thousand calories and grow. Mm. That's a, just a g- genetic um, component to it. Yeah. I think on that side of it as well, the prep's easy because you start to look better. We sit here and eat and eat and eat and get just look worse. Yeah, you, yeah. You, like, you feel worse and yeah. you look worse. Yeah. And, it's, and, yeah. and all, like we said in the gym before, the only the only metric we've got to gauge progress is training performance. And real, reality is you don't give a fuck. Because you're like, well, motivation. Yeah. Motivation's gone in it when you get to a certain point. You're yeah. just doing it because yeah. you know you have to. Yeah, yeah. you're just ticking the boxes. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that's that's definitely with the food side of things. What is it's so much harder if you're doing off season properly yeah. to keep that consistency up um, and the level of pushing that you need to do to grow. But that's another thing as well. Like you saying, Key, like you have to, eat, you know, you've went up to eight thousand. What do you think is the reason that you had to push up that? Was there another thing that you could have done? Or yeah, yeah. so in reality, I didn't need that much food. 
I just thought that I did. There was obviously clearly something else that was amiss. It might have been training performance. It might have been gay. I don't actually know what it was at the time. It might have been um, the way training was set up. Maybe I was training too much or not training enough. There's loads of different avenues you can play. I just, like someone my size, I was like, what at the time? I was under 200 pound. You're under 200? Under 200 pound. So I don't eat need, that, need 8, that much food, yeah. Was you like running... I, was, I was working at the time so on a furnace, burning a shitload of calories, but not that much. What, was you running GH or not? No. No. no, no I think that time. is actually, when I look back, a game changer for adding fullness and size the fullness is crazy off it yeah yeah so then when you're talking about just pure scale weight you, well we've seen it before i've had it with you might have done it and i've done it where you you've ran out and you think fuck i need it. you've only got a week to go you lose four or five pound yeah. oh easy four yeah, or five yeah. pound in fullness yeah and it's like, and then you've done it where well, i'll be honest i've run it at 10 are you and the fucking fullness is it's way too awesome, much yeah. you just yeah. can't fucking move your hands or it's can't move yeah so that just shows you you've got like that that then you've got a six pound buffer and if we're going just off scale weight of how heavy you are for progress then it yeah, that, yeah. that's a massive factor yeah, in it huge. so then when you i think looking back if people would run probably a little bit of gh first they would have been better off than pushing to eight thousand calories yeah, yeah. yeah it's not all that's it though that's that's um being ignorant or uneducated and just going it's the same thing as maybe going more gay more gay more gay like you're gonna hit a brick wall. Mm. So just pushing food and going, right, need more food, need more food. You're gonna hit a brick wall, you, your body can't take it. Yeah, you literally, yeah, you can't take any more of it. Um, what do you think, like going back, if you was younger, what would you have done different in bodybuilding? Not started. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would have took up the swimming, yeah. Um, I wouldn't have took gear as early as I did, because I wouldn't have fucking needed it. Because at the time, I wasn't doing anything right. Um, I definitely had, had, had gone down like learning nutrition, but it was difficult as well because it just wasn't as easy back then. To, the information wasn't there. Mm. And I mean, I, there was one point when I tried really hard to find out um, about nutrition. And I remember getting a diet off someone and it was like, I was trying to put size on. It was, it was spag ball and garlic bread. It was um, hot pot and tiger bread. And then two of these, Nailed it. like, chocolate bar, protein bars with 50 grams of protein a day. I mean, it's just fucking it's shite. Crap. And yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd really like exhorted every avenue that I had at the time to be able to get this. And I was like, oh, this is the gospel. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. And then I ended up going to a Walter O'Malley, you know, Walter yeah, O'Malley's yeah. old school bodybuilder. And the diet he gave me was like eggs and oats for breakfast, eggs and oats before bed, and then four meals of chi Chicky. chicken and chicken and rice or chicken and potato and um, cabbage. That was the fucking diet. Yeah, that was the diet. Yeah. Do you and did you put did you put weight on for it? No, mate. I got peeled off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you would yeah, yeah. get peeled off yeah, it. Because yeah. it's a comp, a comp diet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's like the information just wasn't there. Mm. And it, <clears throat> so even though it was hard back then, it's equally as hard now because there's too much information. There's too much in there. Yeah, there's so so you haven't got a fucking clue where to go and what to start. Yeah. I think I was saying this to someone the other day. I think people are in a, such a better position now because they have coaches out there yeah. yeah so it's like can you imagine being 18 and being like i'm gonna hire a coach and to be fair like back in the day i did do that and i was yeah. fortunate enough to do that and that's how i learned but yeah. and that's why i made the progress i made so you had a you had a really good start from a young age didn't you yeah yeah like i was i was fortunate enough to have that yeah and that's when it started thinking well that's it i could teach people this you yeah. know what i mean and learn how to do it but yeah like that was unheard of mm. it was i think the, the only people was doing like flex lewis weren't it Possibly yeah, Flex was like the, the wonder boy yeah. that was going to be like, he was probably coached from maybe like 18. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, he was better at ev than everyone at like 23. But you think from 18 to 23 being coached perfectly. It's yeah. a good... It certainly, it certainly wasn't happening over here. Do you know what I mean? There's a, there's a bit going on in America, wasn't there? But that's where he, that's where he, he yeah, obviously because got... Because obviously in America, you've got the whole... When you're in college and whatnot, it's all... Co you've got coaches for everything, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. Over here, there was no coaches for anything. No, there wasn't. Unless it was a team no, sport, like, yeah. And that's... The, yeah, with the bodybuilding side of things, it was probably... When do you think it came in? Probably only like 20... 2013? Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's late on though, it wasn't yeah. like a big boom in online coaches, was it? No. Um, and don't get me wrong, there's obviously some shit out there, but there is some really good coaches which allows people to make massive progressions um, faster than, you see them now, like the kids, I've seen oh, that no. kid who was like 19, or even yeah. like Jack Eagles, who's up before yeah, war. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's like 21. 
Yeah, I think he's young, isn't he? Friday, but like he's been coached by some of the best guys and took all the guesswork out of it. Yeah, yeah, which, exactly. Which shows that. You which is good to see because it means like you know, the, the generation has clearly been good at you know giving information and helping people because as generations go on with anything in life, the next generation should be fucking better. Yeah. Because if they're not, then the one before has done a mm. shit job. I do think you've got a point when you say though, the the more info, the, there's baffled with too much information yeah, or people are skipping periods of time so where we had done a barbell row and we'd have done an inclined press they're now trying to skip to the things we would do because we've got we need specifics when they just need to fucking get yeah, just you know, bread and butter it's the same with your strong. your split yeah. like my training split is what fucking hamstrings glutes mid back yeah. yeah that's a random as fuck do you know what yeah. I mean and then it's literally legs lower body and then it's literally back and shoulders, and then it's like maybe pushing arms. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing leg extensions, hack squat, and then going into doing some back, and then maybe yeah, yeah. a bit of biceps. It's like it's random. It's random, it's but needed. it's what's needed for yeah. our level of physique. But these yeah. people are going, oh no, I need a little bit more. So you ain't got delts. Yeah. You haven't got any side delts, so just get so some delts. Pick your weight up, put it back down, eat some fucking food. That's all yeah. you need to do it first. Yeah. I think taking that, taking out that guesswork, like you said, having a fucking hot pot and fucking dingy diet, it's yeah. bullshit. But don't overcomplicate it too much. Yeah, things do need to be simplified massively. I think when, looking back when I was younger, I wish I had a problem. It's hard to say is not take it as seriously because I'm in a position that I wanted to be now. Yeah. But looking back, I didn't realise you could have breaks so you could have like downtime. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was just blinkers on like bodybuilding from day one. Like I just didn't, no deloads. Like, wouldn't go on holiday until my shows were finished. I wouldn't go on holiday in the summer. I wouldn't have nights out. I wouldn't yeah. have meals out. I just bodybuild. And I was like, I'm going to bodybuild. Because I wanted to look back and be like, I don't want any regrets to say, oh, I could have yeah. worked a bit harder and I could have done a bit more. In reality, it probably wouldn't have fucking mattered. So I probably would have had a little bit more downtime or give back more I to... I think sometimes all that can be a bit skewed, that, right? Because you don't really know. You are where you are because you did what you did, mm. yeah. right? And now you have a bit more downtime and you're like, oh, I can still make progress. Yeah, but maybe, maybe you needed to do what you needed to do. Do you mm, know what I mean? Yeah. And it's difficult. Me. I don't think anyone will ever know that. Yeah. No, you're never going to get a second know. chance at it, are you? That's true, yeah. It's, it's like, true. you know, these fucking millionaires or whatever, and they're like, they, 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 had, they used to they was getting up at three o'clock in the morning and then going to bed at midnight and, yeah. and just nonstop work and they had zero balance. And now they've got fantastic lives and they've got these great routines and this great balance. We had this conversation the other day, didn't we, about yeah. Mark? He said, you, you, you need to oh, get up at 10 o'clock. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah. You probably didn't always get up at 10 no. o'clock. No, you probably used to get up at dickhead o'clock, yeah. Yeah, and you get it done. But yeah. now you're t now you're in this great position, you say to people, you don't need, I get up at 10, so you only need to get up yeah, at 10. Yeah. No, no, they're not where you are yet. Yeah. They need to get up at fucking four o'clock in That's the morning true, and get yeah, shit done, it's yeah? true, yeah, 100%. Before the coaches days, do you remember any, like, really, like, strange diets or strange meals? Um, yeah. Like proper mess. The worst one I think I'd not uh, in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. But it does some yeah, weird shit. Not just anyway. <laughs> that's a different conversation. But um I remember Gary Lister. You remember Gary Lister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking huge. He used to do orange juice and two tins of tuna. Nah. Blended. I've done it with a full fat coke. Yeah. And tuna. Full fat coke. Yeah, I've done uh, yeah. the full fat coke. But yeah. the I think what happened when I was doing the tuna and uh, orange uh, it felt like the bits of the orange was just bits for the orange yeah, right, but okay, it fucking yeah. stunk man. <sighs> but they look back it's like what's the point in that just Why eat the tuna to, yeah. I remember the science behind it and everything about yeah, it yeah. it was nuts yeah uh, <laughs> when I used to work on site sorry I used to work on site oh. anyway um, <laughs> I did that as well yeah. no one knows <laughs> when, no, I used no, to, no. when I used to be a labourer just doing fucking hardcore yeah. you don't need to go to gym because you've fucking you've been oh, doing yeah, this yeah, you're yeah. all fat cunts but um I, I could only afford like two tins of tuna every meal, so I'd do like two tins of tuna, <coughs> live, is it live 52? The, yeah, live 52, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two tins of tuna, live 52. And then someone ruined my life and was like, you know you don't get all the protein out of tuna if you don't like, mix it with another protein source. And I was like, oh, I've just God. been eating fucking 14 <laughs> tins of tuna for no reason. I used to do dry, mate, dry straight out of the tin. Yeah, oh, so that's oh, what I did. Yeah. I used to drain it out on the side of the road. I'm like, what the fuck are you eating? I was like, oh, you want it? One of them bodybuilders. I remember yeah. prep. I, I had tuna all the way through prep, my first ever prep. 
took me 18 months to each year ago. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, just couldn't can. have it. No, the, I think the worst diet I've done is just zero carbs, zero oh, fats. Yeah, that. Like white, white fish. White fish. Stunk of it. My sweat was fucking yeah, fish, mate. So I remember. All the clove stunk. I'm not remembering. I'm not naming any names, Jamie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we basically went to Arndale in Manchester and we're going up an escalator. So I was like, so fucking, what's that smell? And I was thinking, it's summer. I was thinking, fuck, that stinks of fish. It's like, do I smell? I fucking sniffed and I was like, bro, you, no, you stink, bro. Like, I'm not being all, yeah, fish, wow. proper hummed a fish. Just comes out your so he went, skin, he was like, I'm going to go to body body care and get some deodorant. No word of a lie, like the queue for body care was right round. Oh. We got to the deodorant, got to the back of the queue, and the guy at the desk went, Has anyone got tuna butties or something? <laughs> no word of a lie. And I was like, He was like, Get me out of this fucking shopping <laughs> centre. But what he'd done, it was actually, he was doing a, te- a teaspoon of L carnitine powder ah, with right. every fucking whatever bottle of water yeah, he was drinking. Yeah. It was the L-carnitine that made yeah, his yeah, yeah. Took him, like, he had to buy a body scrub. It took him, like, a week to get this, the fucking... Oh, yeah. oh, He'll hate me telling that story, but I'm going to go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, it fucking hummed. So, no, we went, uh, even that, we went into the foot asylum, and they were like, have you got food in that bag, lads? And it was like, I said, Jay, we're going to have to get out of here, bro. Like, it fucking stinks. But, yeah, that's probably the worst, probably, the story. Thing. But I've done where I had, like, three-day-old burgers in my car. Oh. And I was driving back from Tenby when I was training with Neil, which is like a six hour drive. Yeah, yeah. Got a flat tire and I thought, gotta eat. So I fucking need burgers. Just worse to eat them. She just got yeah. a gun and got a fucking pack of chicken. Fucking right, done it, mate. Done it yeah. a million times. Like fucking shake or curdled in your car because oh, it's been hot nah. and you're like, fuck it. I'll tell you the down, worst one. I remember the no flavoured protein, my protein. Oh, I've done oh, that as well, so mate. I was yeah. at college and uh, I fucking shook this protein shake and put it in my thing in the car. It's blown up in the car gone everywhere onto fucking like material seats like this summer oh, oh my god mate got back in my car it's like someone had died in it so I valeted valeted i had to buy new seats i can imagine mate. I, it doesn't come out. I, I thought to myself what's that doing on the inside of me yeah no yeah, wonder yeah, yeah. it fucking stunk i got a, f- a five kilogram bag of unflavored by accident <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and i was like do you know what fuck it it's unflavored so I just put it in my oats it'll be sound and i'm like it's not on flavour, it tastes flavor. like shit. Yeah, it tastes like shit. shit. When you eat shit? Yeah, I eat shit all the time, <laughs> yeah. bro. But yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, how can it be unflavoured, but it tastes like shit? Yeah. Doesn't yeah. make sense. Nah, I don't awful. know why anyone would have that. It's fucking nasty. What was your stuff. first ever protein? Oh, I don't know. Um, Nutrisport. 90 plus. Do you remember that? The big white tubs, five kilo and shit. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Mine was weeder from Boots. Oh, like yeah. the weeder. They're yeah. nice, them though. I don't know. I didn't know. I like, oh. always remember that was the a... pre-mixed ones. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice, them though. Glass bottles. No, no, not oh. pre-mixed. It was a powder. Oh, right, and I okay. thought, I I'm going to get mean. massive. Yeah. I'm going to get fucking I just massive. remember shaking mine and it was like made with fucking egg albumin and it was like all oh, slimy and shit. Oh. Disgusting. And they only ever did three flavours when it strawberry. Did you ever have that ultimate orange? Yeah, mate, that mate. was... Oh, so, <laughs> I remember the guy at the gym was like... Is it in it or something? It was it? Yeah, yeah. but he doubled, he made his own. <laughs> so he got a big tub of it, put it in, he went, lads, you, you know. I'm only at college, yeah. he went, lads, you want some of this? You know, took it. I was off my tits. Just flying. Going up the bus, I was like, fucking, when's this bus going? Yeah. I got kicked out of college because I was that fucking wired. Fucking just flying around. Flying around, just I thought, wow, what the fuck? fuck yeah, some of that. stuff, that. Bad, that. and then I remember... In t- tins of tuna after gym spewing everywhere oh, the worst one actually I remember first ever start my first ever prep and I'd spewed my apple up training legs I had, I had an apple pre-workout it was like the greatest thing ever and then I asked if I could have it again I said it's all there on the floor <laughs> can I not eat that again like not off the floor but I was like can I and they're like Shut up, dickhead. But yeah, you it. do some dickhead stuff, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you yeah, still right. do now, mate. But like. Yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> you, you get real weird, don't you? Yeah. Weirdest. But yeah, I think you become accustomed to like thinking, yeah, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. It's definitely not normal. normal. But I forget like going back, and it's nice to have new clients that have just starting out that you forget when you first ever started prep what it was like and what you thought. <laughs> I remember eating sweet potato and I fucking hate sweet potato and I spewed up every time and I just kept eating it because I didn't dare <laughs> yeah. say like, and I, I said to the lad I was training, I was like, mate, how do you eat that sweet potato? And I don't. Said, Fuck off. And yeah. I was changing just for eat, rice. Just eat white potato. I just eat, change it for rice. I yeah. Said, I, been um, eating it for weeks. <laughs> don't even like that, was the, that was the diet off Walter. It was four lots of sweet potato. I ate it for that long or like the carrot on it. Yeah. Orange fingers, yeah, orange yeah. nose. People are going, are you fucking taking... Um, Tannin, no, tannin no, crap. Melatonin. No, not taking stuff. Um, 
fake tan, fake yeah, tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was adamant I had fake tan. I was like, fucking not. Just just yeah, just keratin. <laughs> yeah. I remember having a, a client who um, he said to me, bro, I don't know how you do it. So he said, I don't think I can do this diet. I said, why? So what's up with you? He was like, struggling, man, proper struggling. I said, go on, what, what, what's wrong? He went, how do you eat dry rice? You've been eating the you nah. put dry weight rice. Not cooked. Oh, not you put dry weight rice, so you just... It was Aggie, you know, Michael Argreaves? Oh. oh. For like three, four days straight. That's hard. Mate, like. I thought your arse must be fucking <laughs> Oh ruined. my God, be ripped apart. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But I thought... I've got to give it to you, you're dedicated, man. That's like, full on. And you thought you got, you deserve to win if you get <laughs> dry rice, like pellets. So not no. thinking, I'll just text him and see if it's, this is right. Just yeah, just. I do it. always find it funny, though, mate, even now, still. It, it, like, even, you know, you get new clients and you'll put a meal together and they go, how do we eat that, mate? Oh, yeah, like, this yesterday. Yeah. What do you mean, how do you eat just it? Just eat it. Just eat it's, it, yeah. You've put chicken rice and pineapple or and an apple, like, how do we eat it? I had it with yeah. uh, oats, whey, and eggs. And he was like, so do I make that into a pancake? So make it out of it. He was like, I said, well, do, do I just eat the oats and then have the shake and then have the, I'm like, do what you want. Do you want to mix it all in? Do you want to fucking eat it separate? Yeah, I was like, yeah. as long as you get that meal. And he was like, poof. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. aren't they? But you just, because it's so normal to us to be like. Yeah, because yeah. I suppose, I think one of them the other day was, it, it was a meal before bed and I'd give him salmon and I'd give him um, oats because they train early in the morning. So I wanted to get some slow digesting carbs in. And they were like, fucking hell, bro, it's minging that. Salmon. You put it together. No, they, they'd not done it, but they were going like, that's going to be minging that, and it's salmon and oats. So I went, no, no, bro. Just <laughs> eat oats and then <laughs> yeah. eat the salmon and then eat the fucking oats. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. But, but if you like, you know, imagine saying to someone who doesn't bodybuild and go, that, that's your meal, they'd be like, what the fuck yeah. is it? So yeah, I, yeah. I went to Wagamama's eating out again, and um, I was like, can I get. Chicken katsu? No, no, no. <laughs> so I want, no, so I'm going to be good once. And I thought, right, I'll have two bowls of sticky rice and then ginger chicken, which is just chicken. And the, the girl I was with was like, is that all you're having? I said, yeah, it's my meal. And she was like, so then they brought the rice out and left the chicken for ages. And I was like, well, I'll just eat the rice. And yeah. she was like, you're going to eat the rice on your on its own? <laughs> I was like, yeah. But to normal people, that's, that's so weird, weird yeah, yeah, yeah. to just eat a bowl of rice. I'm like, I have to explain to her, I'm, I'm just eating because I have to eat. It's not yeah. because I want to. I'm just got to eat the rice, got to eat the chicken. You, still, you, see, you see someone stood there in public and they're eating a butty. Mm. No issue. No. You're stood there eating out of a tub. Weird thing. Fucking hell, what a weird yeah. cunt he is. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's strange, isn't it, as well? Like, But that's, I think, the social like the social pressure from people. Then it's like, you prep your food and it's like, oh, you're on a diet. Oh, yeah. And it's like, well, no, I just want to so eat. I eat. Well, so, so some people, like newbies yeah. or whatever, they, yeah, but it's all right because, you, you know, you look mustard, you look like you should eat out of a tub and it's okay. No, no, but to get. To that's where we I are, did. that's what you yeah, have to fucking do. do. So yeah. I've done it while I've been fucking nice. I stone. do. I know you. You take your meal into the cinema, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I do. Just think, eat your meal before you go in. Yeah, I suppose you could do. Yeah. That's what I, I'm like. I've just, done both. Do you know what? I like timing it because if I'm if I'm hungry, I like to time it so I can eat in there. To, yeah, that's yeah. The, to be fair. When you're prepping, yeah, yeah like you're prepping. like, yeah, I'm gonna eat half of it now. Yeah. And then half of it then. And exactly. like, literally. I think we should all go with fish and just sit in the same oh. and eat fish. Well, that's oh, it. Bro, I've, I've done, done it before. <laughs> eggs. Done it on a plane and oh, everything, mate. Oh, yeah. the I've plane, yeah. Fucking done eggs on eggs. a plane. Stinks. Yeah, out of Tupperware as well. Yeah. Pff, stinks, doesn't it? Rough. And you think, yeah. fucking, who's got them? You're like, yeah. 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 I don't know why, but it's so embarrassing, isn't it? It is. It's Im- embarrassing when people go, fucking hell, it stinks of fish. Who's got fish? Well, I'm not embarrassed the fact that I'm eating fish, but because someone's saying it yeah, smells, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, it's like you're farting and don't admit to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's farting? Like, no, I'll tell you that story about <laughs> when I farted. At the wor- When's the worst time you ever farted? Go on, let's, let's just put that out there. The worst time? The worst oh, time. I've had the worst one the other week. Horrendous. I cleared like a gym. Did you? Full oh, yeah, I've cleared a corridor as well. Cleared a cleared a gym. And everyone knew it was you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one. <laughs> Yeah, full on clear, oh, you? I took a girl out, and then obviously you've held this fart in for fucking God knows that, and your stomach's twitching and it's fucking <laughs> you're like, oh my God. She's got out, she's like walking to her door. She like, fucking, nah. oh, mate. So nah. I've, I've just gone like, let everything out. Oh, she's like, felt great. Back, she, bro. Couldn't, get in, couldn't get in. I've looked in the footwell, a little bag's there. Nah. <laughs> I'm strapped in, seatbelt on, <laughs> like. Window, do I do the windows? Do I try and get out, get the bag? Do I, and then she just opened the door, it was like backdraft. Just <laughs> boom. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, see you later. She was like, okay. I could see it in her face. Yeah. could see it and I thought, well, I'd say yeah, I'm never going to get a fucking text back off that. Nothing's happening. Yeah. He was um, in, a, in a meeting 
When I was an engineer, do you know what? Do you know what I was, <laughs> <laughs> was in, was in a meeting and I was trying 50 eggs a day. Again, you're just a fucking. 50 eggs? Yeah, 50 you're just a guinea pig. I was drinking loads of them. You put them up, you bummer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was drinking loads of them because you just didn't, you know, you read different things. You, you, you heard Jay Cutler used to do fucking 60, so I'm like, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do 50. What order? I, I, I'm trying to work this out. Is it five lots of ten? Like, oh, just, every meal? No, it depends, mate. It's like, so in the That's morning. A lot of you, eggs. Yeah, but I was doing like seven meals a day, so. Right. But it all depends, you know. But anyway, don't do it. No, 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 <laughs> don't do it. Give myself an intolerance to eggs. So obviously, <laughs> so obviously the arse was oh, fucking know. wrong. Yeah, mate, it is. Oh. So I was in this meeting and anyway, like I'd obviously cleared the room and then you can hear people in the down the corridor in different rooms going, fucking hell, <laughs> he's like that Kieran, fucking send him out. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking yeah. Shit, shit, literally shit himself. Just literally. Oh. Yeah, if you do it in an elevator and then just eggs. wait. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, it's disgusting. But yeah, that protein fart's the worst. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Do you know what's funny though, like, the, like back, in the, back in the day, fuck me, we said all the time, we're old cunts, aren't we? But um, everyone used to be like, oh, it's mad, isn't it, protein farts? And now you're like, it's just a fucking digestive issue, mate. Like, yeah. You clearly don't agree with drinking whey protein for yeah, yeah. else. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, thing as well, like, with more knowledge now, it's like, oh, fucking hell, we've got these protein issues. farts. Yeah. Yeah. You've <laughs> actually, yeah, we're going to probably change that. There's digestive issues going on yeah. down there. It's fucking mad, isn't it? Oh. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that was a bad one, that, to be fair. That's funny. Yeah, well. yeah dodgy. Have you actually, actually messaged you since? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burr and I, she loves farts. <laughs> <laughs> She's got me to tin them up. I made a fucking fortune. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking hell! Oh. Oh, really joking. I've made made that story up. It's not even true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I made mine up as well. I was just having a laugh. I definitely didn't. I cleared it. I cleared it, Jimmy. <laughs> Full on. Oh fucking yeah, hell! Bad. So what else you got on this week? Oh, another yeah. one of these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Another one of these. Yeah. We got a fucking another one. Sick of seeing you two. When you got Bali? Tell uh, everyone. Oh, Share the news. I'm not telling anybody. I'm, I'm meant to be. Uh, when do I go? What day is it now? Where is it? The eighth. Next, fir- next Thursday, bro. Yeah, next Thursday. So just gonna nip out there. Have a. Obviously gonna go with my dad. He's uh, had a rough time with everything that's gone on. So yeah. take him out there. Get him a lady boy. Mate. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> just a boy. Yeah. Just, just a... <laughs> <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> if she's got tits and a dick, it's fine. But yeah. if it's just a boy, just that's, a... that's a pedo, that mate. That's just a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think he's into that. But I'll see. We'll see. Good. But yeah, so we're gonna go out there with him for. I've just booked a one way, and then just yeah. see where we're at. Um, and then go to Singapore for a bit, and then just travel around. Still gonna bodybuild, still be able to do what I do. Yeah. Luckily out there, it's just fucking rice fields and chicken, so um, actual food is cheap as hell. So yeah. You've got the contacts, don't you, so you can get it all set up. Yeah, I've got all the contacts now to set it all up, and then like you can come out and you can wait for Mr. Zetcher. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, you, you're moving out, aren't you? Yeah, tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow, Friday. Yeah, I've just moved out of mine, and I'm like fucking, I'm like a gypsy. Like Every fucking year I end up moving to a different house, and I'm, I said I'm never doing it again, mm. and. Yeah. Bear in mind, I left home at 18, 17, left yeah. out, moved in with a friend, and then, yeah, never went back, and it's the first time I've been back home at 33. Living with your mum? Oh, How have you found it? Hard, that. Put it this way, I was supposed to go to Spain to see her on my birthday, and I'm not going. She's <laughs> gone to Spain, I ain't going. No, <laughs> but, I'm, I'm, not I'm, even Spain can... No. no. What's, she, what's she been like? She might watch this. No, she like, won't. Oh, it's just different, isn't it? You it's just, just in what just, way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. very. Um, what's the word? Go from living to yourself, where you can kind of relax. So yeah, you can. Yeah, like, what shagging me like? Not going straight. Like, <laughs> it's still the same. It's just still the same. <laughs> it's still the same, but just don't do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just bought her earplugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah just fucking. And drop the tablet and the well, <laughs> She's out cold. <laughs> well, I keep I keep thinking that though. Me as the kids start to grow older, I'm thinking. Hold on, they're gonna get to an age where yeah. we're gonna have to fucking stop shagging, and then yeah. when are they gonna fucking leave home? I'm already try, trying to fucking fall <laughs> forward think about when yeah. I can get. So I'm thinking I need to squeeze it all in now. Yeah, just get them out of yeah. the house. <laughs> where, can, where can I think of when they get in the garden? You'll be yeah, fine. Yeah. But yeah, my dad is uh, he don't have a mobile, doesn't have an email address. Oh. He's old school as fuck. So I'm like, in, in online banking doesn't have online banking doesn't trust it so I'm like fucking hell do you know what though what a fucking life eh? yeah yeah I'm jealous of it but trying to get the cunt on a holiday sorry I shouldn't say cunt (laughs) uh, trying to get the guy on a holiday and getting like 
a book like a what the fucking called uh, um, Airbnb and stuff. No, like checking in and paying. Oh, oh and yeah, me. Nah, like, I said, what's your password? I don't know the password. Oh. Well, what's your pin number? I don't know the pin number. Oh, oh my like, god! So I should have sent you an email confirmation. What? Yeah. So, email? so that was email. it. He was like, I want to pay for these flights. I was like, I'll pay for him. He was like, Well, I need I need to pay for him. Can I give you cash? I said, Dad, I can't. I don't want cash. So I just leave it. And he was like. Well, how am I going to get money to you? Do I've got to go into the bank and transfer you? <laughs> I said, Dad, we need you online. Online, he said, but they'll send a code to your phone. I ain't got a phone. Right, I'm gonna have to get your phone then, aren't I? Yeah, but fuck, you know. So yeah, he's a he's a character, but it's gonna be eventful. Like it is gonna be eventful. But it's Not needed. Good. It's gonna be. It's fun. definitely needed, yeah, mate. It's good. good. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be. Right. The thing is with that side of things, with like I'm looking at it. Yeah, two weeks of traveling and and yeah. experiencing stuff enjoying bodybuilding not yeah. going and being like i'm competing i've got to get all my meals in and being one of them knobheads that's like like i just said have a little bit of downtime because it's needed yeah. with with everything that's gone on business is going the way it's going obviously fucking becoming single and then my mum passing away it's like sometimes you need to go you know what i've had a lot of shit on for the last two months three Switch months 100 percent. So, you need that 100%. but you've still got to give yourself credit mate right your downtime when you're there is going to be someone else's 120%. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're still going to eat your meals, you're still going to do your cardio, you're still going to train. What else is there, really? Yeah. 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 You're just going to enjoy a bit more yeah, doing bit stuff more you don't freedom, normally do, sunshine. yeah? And I think when you've got that as well and you do that, it then puts you in a mindset of like, right, I'm ready to smash it now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? If you, if we were thinking about before, if anything's pushed to red line all the fucking time, yeah. you just burn out. Yeah, yeah. But do you know what? It's exciting as well, because obviously I'm going to come out like end of March, and if we've got plans to come back maybe just before the season starts, when April when April comes into play, yeah, it's going to be like game on, innit? It's yeah. going to be fucking all systems That's go. That's it. When we're at a show pretty much every weekend yeah. with, with from, clients. From so April, it, got, yeah. it got mad busy at the back end of last year, didn't it? Yeah, when you and we were staying in loads of fucking hotels, yeah, Airbnbs, and and Airbnbs and stuff. This one's going but to be it's, twice it's, that. It's so good as well because being around the guys... Like even when we did the team meet up. Yeah. But when you've got you're peaking eight to ten guys and you're in an Airbnb and they're in your kitchen and you're like, yeah. like boom, boom, you're like the infu this, that the enthusiasm of the everyone energy. is so yeah. cool. And you just yeah, like yeah. and then when I sit back and look at it, I go, Fuck, like, we're doing it. Like yeah. that's it's yeah, yeah. you you want it to be this guy and there's ten people here going for British championships and you're the guy that's helping them do that and you're the guy that they're coming to for you know, like Fucking you when you sit back and look at it. It's, it's like human nature is you, you forget you forget emotions and feelings like so so fucking easy. Mm. So at the time how amazing it all was, you now like because because we have this off season and, and the, the season's ended and no one's competing and stuff, you kind of like, uh, not really asked about it all. But then as soon as it kicks off, it just relights that fire yeah, again. Yeah, it does. And you and the thing is when we're meeting up at shows, people are gonna be winning, people are gonna be doing well and it, it's that momentum, as we always say, momentum. Yeah. And it just one Compiles. week goes into the next, goes into the next. And yeah. the the main thing that we are trying to do now is document all that to yeah. show the the highs, the lows, the good, the bad. To give a true representation of what it's all fucking about. The the fucking cool thing is as well now, is that we've got a lot of these guys that are new to competing, which is fucking awesome because it brings back so many good memories from we when we first started, and it's like so nostalgic and stuff. And you really want to help them. But then you've got the guys that are ready to turn pro, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. which is fucking insane too. We've got guys that are definitely knocking on that pro card door this year. So we've got like both ends of the spectrum, which is going to be a pretty cool year. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting. We've got so much to look forward to, Absolutely. so much content to do. These, when are these going to be out? Back in next week, week back, Yeah, back in the next week, Four finally, weeks. we get them back yeah. out. So that'll be dropped. Um, and then like I say, just long form content as much as we can, helping as many people as you can. Eight week elite physique started now. It's underway yesterday. That was phenomenal. Like the that again is not so it's gone huge. So cool. And the next one will be in when we start like we're gonna so start enrollment in March, I think. Start with May, yeah, and then yeah, and it'll yeah. start in April. Start in April. Yeah, so yeah. we're already putting in the works of that to bring even more value. Because again, every time we do it, we're just bringing another element to it. Another right, what can we do better? How yeah, can we bring yeah. more value? So it's diversifying the whole the whole coaching system as well, being able to to utilize people at, at different stages you know yeah, what i mean yeah. it's not just like one thing as, as our whole ethos is is help as many people as we That's possibly it. can yeah so yeah another amazing podcast 
I'm fucking always. starving. I'm not even um, fasting, but I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah I'm Thanks for having me, guys. Man. Thanks for coming. Uh, lie detector Lovely. results will be later on. <laughs> 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 Subscribe, like, touch me if you want to. <laughs>